Thousands of people pass by Belmede Historic Site and Winery every day. 136 enslaved people lived on the historic plantation. Roughly six years ago, a tour in their honor was created. Miss Savannah is the only nanny that I know of in the 99 year time span of the Bellmead Plantation. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs took that journey to Jubilee tour in 2019. That's when we met Bridget Jones, a descendant of slaves and the site's first manager of African American studies. It makes me very emotional at times because this is a very personal story for me. Jones took a job elsewhere last year. In the last few days, she discovered that the Jubilee tour that was celebrated for its honesty and impact will change in the future. But this idea behind needing to find a quote unquote fun fact to add to lighten the mood of journey and finding quote unquote nicer ways to say that the enslaved people there didn't have a choice. There is no fun fact about enslavement. There is no nicer way to discuss enslavement. Enslavement is what it was. And on social media, Jones isn't holding back about her concerns. And until Bell Mead and other plantation museums like them get to a point where they understand that telling the truth, the full truth, the uncomfortable truth is more important than customizing a tour to make sure it matches the aesthetic of the rest of the plantation, then we won't get anywhere. According to the site, they are always evaluating their content and recognize as a public historical institution, tours need to be accurate, engaging, and thought-provoking. And there's no amount of wine and mint juleps that's gonna take away from the reality of what those spaces and places did to American history. In Belmead, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.